We're here at the 2013 Minneapolis St. Paul International Film Festival with director Morgan Neville. His film 20 Feet from Stardom just played. Could you introduce yourself, talk a little bit about your film? Sure. Uh, my name's Morgan Neville. I'm a uh, documentary filmmaker and I've been doing it for quite a while. And I'm out here screening our film 20 Feet from Stardom on the festival circuit ahead of our theatrical release this June. June 14th, we open in LA and New York and uh, we're just so excited to get this film out there and share it with people. Can you talk a little bit about the subject of the film? Sure. I mean, it's a film about backup singers um, who are like the most incredible artists you've never heard of before. And they've sung on a thousand songs you know. And, uh, and that was kind of the revelation for me making it, was realizing how much I knew these people's work, yet I had no idea who they were. And it's part of the film is the discovery of that but then really the kind of journey they all go on, you know, either um, happily or, you know, sadly, trying to figure out how to make it in the music industry. Either as a backup singer, a lead singer, or by default to backup singer, and, and it's about that, that journey. Uh -huh. So you came here to the festival with one of your subjects of the film. Could you talk a little bit about her? And, sure. and Mary Clayton is here in Minneapolis with me, and uh, Mary is fantastic. She's a legend in the backup singing world, and in the singing world. I mean, she's uh, probably most famous for having sung backup on Gimme Shelter, which is probably the greatest backup singing performance of all time. But she sang with everybody from Ray Charles to Joe Cocker to The Who, you know, on and on. And um, I just love taking Mary to festivals like this because she's, she's a diva and she gets a chance to show her, her inner diva to a crowd who eats it up. So that's a great thing. Can you talk a little bit about the audience response to the film tonight? Uh, the audience loved it, which, you know, I, I love. I love it when people love it. Um, and yeah, I guess people have been saying it's a crowd-pleasing film, which I think it is. I mean, it's a film that, um, for a documentary, too. You know, I, I love heavy, serious, and social issue documentaries, but it's kind of great to have a culture doc that kind of takes you on an emotional journey, which is what this film does, and just the way crowds have reacted to this film from the beginning has been overwhelming, more than I ever could have hoped for. Could you talk a little bit about the, the Minneapolis St. Paul Film Festival here? What do you think about the fest? I mean, the fest, I've heard great things about it for years, but I've never been to this festival before, and uh, I mean, it's amazing. You know, three weeks of films and so many films here you know somebody told me 200 different films here so uh, that's incredible and I wish I had more time just to watch more movies when I was here but next time anything else you'd like to say no just uh, go see our film this June My song to you. Thank you so much. Thank you.